citizens of Throsha. I am Sir Nock, barkeep of the Hex, advocate for the champions, and your host. Thank you for your presence, both those of you who are here with us in the Hex, and those of you who are watching from afar on your arcane devices. We are about to present our five courageous champions with their clan sigils. These sigils attest that they have been chosen by their clans to embark on an incredibly dangerous journey. Far across the sea to the land of Glemt, the land of giants. For they have stolen pieces of Malthior's spellbook, an incredibly powerful artifact that if we do not recover could pose an incredible threat to our safety here in Throsha. They will face incredible dangers, and indeed, not all of them may return. So please join me in sending them off. Are you ready to meet them? Woo! I said, are you ready? Woo! Are you ready? Woo! Then I give you, from Clan Malfior, Jackano Palasso. From Clan Venida, I give you Chantilly Inkwell. <laughs> From Clan Talum, Booball! From Clan Krieg, Dig. Come on out, mate. <laughs> and from Clan Aria, Dahlia. <laughs> Last but not least, the Keeper of the Keys. He who sees into the beyond. The fifth of his name, Gallimore! Champions, let us lock in our sigils. Please. Let the quest begin. Champions, thank you for joining us once again as you lend your bravery and your skills in defense of our great nation of Throsha. Because these events, these events that will unfold, will affect the lives of many and potentially the lands beyond, we must see that all things are done fairly in accordance with that which was set forth in the Council of the Gods by Pleiana herself. As such, I call forth our arbiter, Krello. <laughs> You suck back! <laughs> listen, listen, okay, listen, I'm Krello, I'm the Arbiter of Justice, so maybe you should be nice to me a little bit? I mean, because, why? look, these heroes, they get to choose their actions, but they don't get to choose the consequences. Something that maybe your parents should have taught you before you all got orphaned <laughs> or you were the chosen one or whatever your deal is, whatever their deal is, it doesn't matter, all right? Actions have consequences, I'm here to make sure of that. 
Hey, that's really cool. <laughs> Sorry, that was unreal. I just noticed your face paint is super awesome. The point is, I'm Crello. I answer only to three things, all right? I answer to the hex master when he's like, Crello, stop. And I answer to play on herself when she's like, Crello, take it easy. <laughs> and then, of course, I answer to Boons. If you go to hivechannel5.com, you can get Boons. As I've told you many times, we've got just one undead gnome working the server. The undead gnome has died. <laughs> a paladin found out he was there. It was this whole misunderstanding. So it might take a while, but be patient. We're getting another undead creature there. I won't tell you what race, though. That'll be next week. Anyway, I love you so much, Throsha, just as much as you love me. <laughs> oh, hey, it worked. <laughs> to be clear, even though I killed the undead gnome, that was creeping around the hex. I mean, really, it was disgusting. Uh, Boo-boons are working fine. So don't, don't be afraid to, to get online. All right, champions. <laughs> we are going to be sending you back. Where we last left you, you were viewing a castle and city seemingly made of glass and populated by gnomes. Yeah. You were led out of the fire giant keep and conveyed away being told that if you wanted to survive, you must follow this strange, hooded, tiny figure. I have nothing else to tell you except may you fly safely on the wings of Sorios. Barkeep, how are the keys? The keys are so ready for this, but there's something a little different about them this time. So let's talk about the keys. Each of these keys represents the blessing and the power of the founding members of the clans who watch over us from their planes of existence. It is these keys that allow us to send the champions through the channel to the places they need to be. It's what allows us to see them, to communicate with them. These keys are essential. However, their power output is a little bit limited, and so every once in a while, we have to bring them back to recharge the keys. Now, last time, our champions were out there for a little bit longer than we like, and the keys were nearly depleted of their power entirely. And so to avoid that, we've made a few adjustments using the guidance of Playana. And if they start to be out there for a little too long, the keys have now been given the power to unlock the potential of the dice, meaning that instead of using damage dice averages, we will be using the highest value that the damage dice can give them. <laughs> this power is a little imprecise, and it will affect the enemies as well. Oh. But because our champions outnumber our enemies, generally speaking, I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> it's getting very foreboding in here all of a sudden. I like it. I find it, it quite charming. It should be fine. <laughs> I have nothing but faith in them. Yay. And we're ready to send them. Barky, please. Unlock and open the channels. Opening the channels. <laughs> oh, my God, he was. Every time. It's very exciting. Champions, you find yourself walking across a plane of glass seemingly through the air itself, and you are being conveyed over this gnome city that is full of life, color, street vendors, citizens, people going about their business, living their lives. It could not be potentially a starker contrast to the keep where you were but minutes ago. The hooded figure in front of you pulls back her hood, revealing a young female gnome with a bearing of authority she says, please come with me. The queen will want to speak with you. And she continues on this path towards the castle. If we were so inclined, what might we call you? My name is Tifala. Tifali, lovely name. Thank you. And how did you find us, Tifali? Well, you see, I was in the keep of the fire giants on an errand of my own when the alarm was sounded that there were intruders and my errand was thwarted. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> well. There, there were a few more 
with us? Two gnomes? Uh, yes, that would have been Jedry and Kelney, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. My well-intended little brothers. I wonder if oh. you could tell us anything about the nature of your errand. I, well, let us speak when we arrive in the presence of the queen. And so she leads you the rest of the way to the castle, and you enter through this entrance that is heavily guarded and locked, but as she approaches, the guards hail her, stand aside, and open the way. And you are conveyed to a large room inside this beautiful glass castle. There are many gnomes around in fine dress, attendants, guards, some seem to be soldiers. But the one that sticks out the most definitely, seated at the head of a grand table, is an older looking but elegant female gnome um, who's counseling with a guard. She wears a beautifully bodice tunic and has a thin crown covered in gems, and she appears to be looking over plans of some sort. What? Well, I'm going to take off my hat, give her a little bow, and say, My most regal lady. Nice to meet you. My name's Jacquinot. What's yours? Ah, so you all are the bunglers who ruined Tefala's plans. Yes. Did you tell me? What can we say? Hey. <laughs> eh? Regrettably, had we known about Tefano's plans, we, we likely would have been able to assist with them instead of botch them. We were assisting uh, her brothers instead. We were under the impression that they were the ones that needed us. Yes, a fine a bunch of well-intended dunderheads I've yet to meet, but thank you for keeping them safe. I'm sure you did your best. As well as we could, yes. You see, Tif Princess Tifala, we sent her to be captured by the fire giants because she was trying to attempt to take back that horrible magical book mm. that King Fedris has obtained. Well, coincidentally, I believe we're here for the same book. I see. It seems like this might have been uh, avoided if the brothers had been told of her plans in the first place. Well, it's possible, but when someone's bad at keeping a secret, bad at being part of a secret, and bad at not knowing a secret, your options are limited. That's right. <laughs> that reminds me of grade school. <laughs> Is there any way we could assist instead now that we've foiled other plans? We would love to make it up to you and your family. That's quite fine and good, but I believe you've done enough at this point. I intend to send my own forces back to the fire giant keep to reobtain the book. I'm afraid I will need you all to stay here, as you clearly have caused more harm than good up to this point. What has your prisoners? As our honored guests, who I will not allow to muddle up my plans oh. again. <laughs> so prisoners. <laughs> prisoners. Unfortunately, uh, our acquisition of that book is non-negotiable. That's something that we need to obtain. So perhaps we can come to some sort of an agreement, a parley, as it were. You can see a number of these rock gnome guards starting to hold their spears a little more readily as you make this statement. And the queen eyes you. A parley, you say? What is it you feel you could offer me? Well, uh, we could be a distraction. We could be uh, a force to be reckoned with, although obviously <laughs> you have a bit of ammunition here yourself. But... Uh, I think that uh, we could see to it that none of your people die. We also specialize in giant slaying. We've slain a number of giants before, all on our own. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like, the last time you two teamed up, I will let Jacques and I'll make the persuasion check this time with advantage because of the assistance of Tilly. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to give her my flirtiest wink. <laughs> that is a 19 plus persuasion, you say, plus 4, so that's a 23. And a 7 plus 4 for an 11, so we'll take the 23. All right. Slain multiple giants, you say? Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. Predominantly fire giants. 
No, not fire giants. Kill, kill giants. giants. I start kill flexing giants. really hard. <laughs> he's terrible. Is he all right? He looks like he's going to hurt himself. He, I throw up. <laughs> he got stung by a bee. He's a bit swollen. Oh. And he's a bit upset that he's he's lost his sword. I swallow it. He's, he needs a sword. My queen, I bow to her. Do you have a sword? A really big, the biggest one that you would have. Barkeep. Opening a channel to Cree. <laughs> hey. Let's talk, son. Oh. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. That young woman sitting next to you. Yes. Has experienced so much loss for someone so young. Uh huh. The path of a champion is lonely, and I've always been afraid of someone taking advantage of her. This is why I've been a little mean to you, I'll admit it. No. But if, <laughs> if there's anyone whose heart Wait, I no. can, if there's anyone whose heart I can trust, it's Delius. So as long as she wants you by her side, I have sent a glaive with you from my own personal treasury. Oh. Oh. Use it until you find something you like better. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you get that glaive? I found it. <laughs> just, just now. Your dad gave it to me. <laughs> My dad's dead. I meant your, like, your other dad. <laughs> oh, oh. oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Well, with that lovely gesture from a surrogate father. <laughs> from Sir Nog, love you. <laughs> Roll a deception check there, Dag. <laughs> That's a 12 plus 12. I'm afraid the DC was 30, my friend. <laughs> plus he's written I'm in crayon. I'm dyslexic, I can't. <laughs> So the queen, in response to your query, I'm afraid that the swords at our disposal need to be going with the warriors we'll be sending out. That's fair. I'll That's be sending fair. some of our best, Princess Tefala, to lead, Nimin, Yoster, Wilric. I trust them implicitly, but you seem trustworthy. And you claim to have killed multiple giants, and I would like to believe you're telling me the truth. You can believe what you like. But that is the truth. Takano and I have both been part of the party that took down a hill giant, a frost giant, I believe, and a storm giant. Yeah, and I heard the stories. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we can vouch for the others. They are definitely qualified. Especially the one next to me. <laughs> are they? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I was young once. <laughs> People keep saying that around me. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, very well. I believe we'll include you in our plans. We have some preparations to make, but in the meantime, you may partake of some of the feast before, as we prepare. And she turns back to her advisor and begins speaking with them again. And the guard who was standing next to her before, who was in not necessarily as fine of an armor as the fire giants, but a very respectable armor for a gnome of his station, comes up with his spear. A lot of you would do well to not disappoint our queen. Wouldn't do we have an understanding? Wouldn't, wouldn't dream of it, mate. Our queen. <laughs> and another thing, just so as you know. You are right. Felt something very strange. Have you eaten anything recently? Yeah. From one moment to the next, he is consumed in a cloud of mist. And he vanishes. Well, <coughs> excuse me, my queen. <laughs> As you look up, you can see figure after figure in the room beginning to clutch their chest and these clouds of smoke taking them one by one. Did somebody snap their fingers in the audience? <laughs> Princess Tefala immediately begins chanting softly to herself, and you see that she's protected by a gentle glow around her form. I'm going to make my way over to her. All right. 
cloud after cloud until the room is empty and only the five of you and Princess to follow remain. Can I do like an insight check to see if this is her doing or if this is... Go for it, Deg. Got it. I'm insightful. That's a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what she did. <laughs> this one's to you, sir. <laughs> she looks can... mortified in total shock and you trust her and her reaction. My queen would never do this. Too sudden. So Princess Tefala, he's done something. He's done something with the book. He who? King Fedris, the fire giant king who has the book. He's been attempting some sort of foul magic and it looks as though he's learning more. Did, did you learn anything about his plans with this book while you were captured? All I know is that he's been capturing gnomes, and it seems he's learned a much more efficient method for gathering them up. All right, we're short on time. We need to do something about we this We need now. to go and get them back. We need to stop whatever he's doing. We need to go inside and get that book before he can do whatever terrible thing it is. Absolutely. Post haste. Then I say it's time we go and slay a giant. Yeah! Yeah! Follow me, quickly. I know the way. Okay. Right. She leads you out a different exit from the castle along another glass path through the air, and you re-approach the fire giant keep from a different side, much, much lower, and she explains that you'll be entering through some lava tubes, much like you did earlier when you were searching for the cave for the crystals. You'll be going through a different set of lava tubes that she claims will lead you up and underneath the keep, taking you to the fire giant forge which you heard mentioned by some of the castle guard earlier. As you approach, you are conveyed once again underground. And she says, we'll need to be careful moving through these tubes as there are still, you know, outlets of very hot lava coming down. So we'll have to be very mindful of our steps. Champions, Let's learn a little bit more about the Hex Challenge that lay before you. With the aid of the Gnome Tifala, you are being guided through the lava tubes at the base of the volcano underneath the Fire Giant Forge in an attempt to sneak back in and rescue the gnomes. As the bellows for the forge pumps above you, some tunnels fill with lava while others remain safe. You will start at the bottom of the path, and you will choose which hex you will proceed to one at a time by touching it with three fingers, lighting it up. From there, you will proceed from hex to hex, one at a time, choosing the path you would like to take. Green and blue hexes are safe paths where you will take no damage. Orange and red hexes signify taking damage from lava to the whole party. Every time you discover a cluster of four white hexes, you will receive a question that will test your knowledge of Throshan history. If you succeed in answering the question correctly, you will receive a hint to help you determine the safer path. If you answer incorrectly, you will receive no guidance, and you must proceed blindly. You must continue on this trail until you reach the top. Champions, if you please. You begin to encounter writings upon the wall. Questions testing your knowledge to see if you are worthy of aid as you proceed. We'll have two standing on this side, three standing on this side. You will begin at the bottom. Again, touching with three fingers will light up a tile. And you must choose one hex at a time, the path you desire to take as you move up. Every time you encounter a cluster of four white hexes, you will receive a question, which you may then answer to see if you can receive aid to select your path. Are we allowed to work together on the questions? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Champions, you have 30 seconds to confer amongst yourselves how you would like to approach this challenge. So whoever goes first should be not any of us who are gonna be in the front lines of the battle. 
coming up pretty soon. Is it going to damage all of us or just? I think it it is going to damage all of you. Never mind. Never mind. Yes. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> but I can assume that anywhere where there are four, it's that's probably going, going to be a white cluster. That's, that's an excellent a good call. point. It's a little bit trickier up here, but. Um, you know. right, well, your strategy through. should be getting the questions right. Yes. And that's time. <laughs> all right. Please step right up alongside. Champions Playana has advised I'm gonna you to stand touch the right hex here. with three fingers. Three fingers. Three. For that is her sacred number. Ah. <laughs> it's good to know. That's a good piece of lore that's been established One, two, right now. Five. <laughs> three. Three. Ah. Playana's sacred number. It should be easy right. to remember. Doug, can you count that high? Yes, you I may, can count that high. You may select One, among yourselves. Four, Tilly, that was my Who line. will choose <laughs> and who will touch at which points in time. Ah, okay. right, all right. I'll take the first step. I do not believe there's a specific starting hex. Go ahead, do a little pokey Lee. poke. They pick it. Ah! Yeah. All right. I think we should alternate. All right. Shall we? Boo ball. Boo! Nicely yeah. done. Nicely done. That's three. That is three. Hey! <laughs> we are cunning, aren't we? The question written on the cave wall. What is the name of the land of the giants? Clint. Clint. Clint, Clint yes. I was going to say giant land. <laughs> I need an official answer. Glimp final Glimp. answer. Glimp's final answer. That is correct. <laughs> the path ahead is a clear delight, but caution once you find a white light. Ooh. Oh. Path ahead. You must continue to proceed. Right. Um, Hexmaster, do we have to select hexes that are adjacent to each other? Yes. Okay, that's right back. Cool. But you end it here, you may move back. Oh, okay. Good to know. As okay. long as it's touching one of the lit up ones. As long as it's touching one of the lit up ones. Right. Go for it. That is safe. Okay. Uh, hey, hey. Well done. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, Good, for Good use using that sacred number of fingers. Uh. Well done. It's very bright. Mm. Three. The way okay. behind you. Begins to fade as you proceed. You cannot see. Oh. Good, 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 so I love you, audience. Uh, it's going to be these four questions. It should be, right? Yeah. If that one is indeed white. Yes. What? Oh! What? Again? Ow! Again. <laughs> Guys, I can't track damage this quickly. you got to slow down. <laughs> Not all the whites okay. are in Never. clusters. The citizen spoken. Oh. oh. <laughs> Chakano, you've broken it. Chakano. We beat the puzzle. That means that we're safe. We did it. There you are. Yes. Ah. All right, who's up next? Well done. Temple is good. Well done. Okay. Temple is always um, good. And then it should be... <laughs> Dang oh. Yeah, two more damage to the whole party! Six damage so far. Keep it up, okay. champions. It's got to be going st straight up. Okay. Now, I should be straight I feel like it's going to start going <laughs> diagonally like this because it's doing a little no, bit No, so the like path is right. clear. So it one. should be straight. Hey, Bubal. I believe in you. Boo right. how you feeling? Feeling good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, nope. never mind. <laughs> That's a bad color, right? That is yes. a bad color. A little color. ambiguous, but two more damage. Color color the, the hit was the path is clear. It's like straight ahead. Oh. What in the world? Again? We're at Again. A, we're at a okay. dead end. What? We gotta go this we have way. To, so, do, 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 do. Oh. I see. Oh, we had that one. I'm so strong. <laughs> Calibur, you got it. Doug, now you've done it. Boop. Done it? Get it. And then, and I believe this yes. was the one that you pushed, and it was green. Yes. Um, Do I recall that this was lit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a cluster of four, oh. Oh. meaning you obtain a new question. All right. How many great deeds were done by the original guardian? Five. 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 I'm assuming one for so each. Final answer, Five. of course. Yes. I heard the term final answer. That's correct. With the most impressive one being done by Clan Malfia. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's debatable. It would Destroying half the world was pretty impressive. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like some There effort. is but one path that will make thee feel charm. 
head towards young hex lovers, and you will not find him. Towards these two. So stay on the right hand side. I, 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 I think you already used oh. that clue. I think that was supposed to tell you to go this oh, way. And not go that, that way. way. Yes. Yes. That would have been helpful. Thank you. Well, now we know, right? Now you know. Just get more white hexes. Save colors. Guys. What's hard about this? Those are safe. I, I think oh, you're good. Okay. okay. You're, oh, why? You're, you're heading so, towards the cluster. So we got one, two. Three, it's got four. to be one of or these one, two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those two. So let's. Pretty I think we're okay. definitely that's, good that's with that That's the cluster, one. right? It looks like it could be. But you need to find all four. Oh. Oh! oh. Two damage to the party. We've done so ten with this one, 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 two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. It quit. Why not that one though? It could. One, okay. Two, before you do it. Yes. I think. Didn't we hit this one before? Uh, I don't mm. know. I, I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, no, we only Boom! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh! Oh! I'm going to stop. Two more damage <laughs> to the party. <laughs> There's our four. There four there cluster. Go. Another there question found on the cave right. wall. All is well to those who take fate. Nope, Wait, that what? was a clue. That was a clue. <laughs> what is that? What is Ilfracombe known for? Library. My oldest library. It's the Lube. library where Malthior's spellbook was, was kept and stolen from. What is library? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All is well to those who take fate, lest one place doubt and arbitrate. Um, so it goes left then, right? All is well to those who take fate, lest one place to arbitrate or. Arbitrate. It should be the left side. She sure went there. Makes sense. <gasps> A white. We made it to the edge, or we have to answer another question? Keep going. You're looking to find all four. Oh! Hey! Your final trivia question. As you hear the cave walls rumbling around you, almost as if something what is moving through great the stone. What spell is contained in the spellbook of Malfior? The one that made the, the ugly the, deep. The right? of the ugly deep. Oh, and or is it the, 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 sky the giant's sky castle. giant's cloud? Sky castle. giant's castle. But did it have a name? I feel like there is no name. Soul. <laughs> I feel like the Ugly Deep spell was the more impressive the spell one. spell that created the Ugly Deep. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct! Let's go! Well done, champions. Well done. Hex on three. All right. One, two, three. Hex! Hex on three. All right, please back to your seats. Champions, you've made your way up these lava tubes, but you did consistently hear the sound of distant rumbling in distant chambers and in distant ways. And as you begin to enter into a larger section of the volcano, you once again feel the stone rumbling, and the stone beneath your feet crumbles. Good, good, it was good, apparently good, 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 good. thin, dug out from beneath you, and you fall into a chamber. This chamber is large and it looks as though it was once being mined. But that's not what catches your attention. Instead, your eyes are drawn to an enormous, unholy form of a creature resembling a worm, purple in hue. Ooh. Oh dear. Many, many times Ew. larger than any of you. Ooh. Ah. So what is it? Uh, Hotch, can you give us any insights here? This does not look friendly. Interesting. You should consider yourselves lucky that you found a juvenile of the species. Oh, good. <laughs> In my experience, juveniles can do lots of damage. Ooh. Emotional damage, anyway. I'm not talking to Hotch directly. Unfortunately for you, young one, your sentiment will be amply demonstrated if I know anything about this beast. Watch. Champions will be entering initiative order. You'll have the opportunity to be counseled by Sir Nock before you begin. Champions, I fear for you. Many of you are looking very low in terms of hit points. Jack and O, you are the exception. Now, I know this isn't generally your style, but with your uncanny dodge, you could spend a couple of rounds up on the front lines. Yes. That could help your companions. Um, be aware of what's in the boon store. This uh, ability to grant vulnerability to your attacks could make this uh, uh, battle much quicker. I see. That's good to know. Jacques and will begin with you. 
Right, well, as this being is unholy, let's put some hose in it, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so hot, Jack and <laughs> Right. Uh, I am going to creep behind this rock face over here and uh, send out my chill touch to creep up and I'm going to attempt to pull some of those tendrils off of him with chill touch. All right, make your attack roll. That is a 9 plus 5 for a 14. That will not connect. <sighs> I've been having a ton of luck there. Then I'm going to uh, send out my doppelganger. All right. <laughs> and he's going to get right in this beast's face. All right. As he does not flee, he does not provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, he's just right up in his beast. Anything else on your turn? No, I'm going to end my turn there. Tilly. All right, do I see any immediate exits when I'm looking around? Any way to get out of this cave? There are a number of bored holes in the very stone. You can see that the portion of the worm is coming out of the rock itself. However, many of them have caved in. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how I like those odds, but I'm going to risk it anyway. Crello, may I borrow your bell? It's very important. It's rather important. You see, I need an item that is distasteful to my target, well, and nobody likes it. <laughs> Why not just, just, use just your give own her the bell? Uh, fine. Okay, I'll ring the bell when it's time. Excellent. I'm going to point at the worm, and I'm going to say, "I think you should leave now." And I cast banishment, uh, charisma saving throw. DC of sixteen. That is a two. Whoa! <laughs> the effect of the spell? In the blink of an eye, he's gone. He simply ceases to be. But I, I'm shaking a little bit, and I, I, I tell my party members, we need to leave right now, because he's coming back in, in no more than a minute. I like the way you think. We can do a lot with a minute. Let's do that. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck. All right. <laughs> All right. Can uh, can I roll an insight check to see which cave which cave cavern looks like a good one to run through? You yeah, go for it. Make an insight check, please. That's a six. Okay. They all look good. <laughs> As was mentioned, they are very much m tunneled in. On, they've caved in on themselves. It's difficult to find your way. It may be just a good idea to pick one and go. I agree. I'm, yeah, I'm going to, to start for yet. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I need you to select a point on the map. I would say I where the tell wall you, was coming. There are board holes all over the place. Uh, I would definitely say where the worm was coming from. All right. I would agree. Til Tilly, I think you you got it. Where, okay, where I, go? I will take the lead in, in a panic. Wait. I'm, I'm not sure well, we're where that behind. would be we're going on to the map. Back. All right, yes. we're going to deposit Tilly where the worm was. As deposit. you enter into a hole, is anyone following her? Yes, I'll I'm follow. following. Yeah. I'll follow. Sounds like everyone's following. All right, as you make your way down this particular hole into the darkness, it is near pitch black. Some of you, I'm sure, can see, and some of you cannot. I can't see. I'm going to take me mage hand, give it me rope, and send it back so that they can hold on to it. And... Uh, grab onto the rope tied around themselves so they won't get lost. All that. right. As you make your way down through the tunnel, all of you, I'm going to group you up accordingly. You spend some time moving through this tunnel, feeling through the dark, and you find yourselves re-emerging into the same chamber. Oh, uh, bloody. But on the side. All right, we need to try okay. a different one and hurry. Mm. Make it sharp-like. Where's the next hole? Pick a spot on the map. I there are holes everywhere. Maybe here? The outcropping in the bottom right? Yes. All right. The group of you make your way down. <laughs> Pulling away rock, forcing your way through. It is difficult work. And as you begin to make your way through the darkness, you reemerge <laughs> into the chamber here. <laughs> All right, Sandy. Right. Because Let me give this a try. Took you. I suddenly make my eyes the size of giant saucers, and I get owl eyes. Oh. This gives me perception uh, advantage. 
And uh, right. let's me also have dark vision. Well, Ooh. it is now your turn to act in the initiative order as we are oh. resuming, and you spent more than a minute trapping I see these a worm. tunnels, pulling aside rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> Thanks for that. This is great. This is great. All right. Okay. We won't count that as your action for your turn, however, so. Okay, okay. Well, ah, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I want you to have this, and I'm going to give him my good fruit. I don't know what it does, but it does something good. All right. Can I use it as a, as a bonus action, just handing him something? Yeah, absolutely. And then? It's a free manipulation action. With, with my druid powers, I'm going to summon, straight from the heavens above, a ray of moonbeam, radiant damage, that comes straight down on this worm in front of me. That's a... Uh, Constitution, saving throw. All right. DC? 16. He rolls a 13. All yes. right, all right. <laughs> yeah. The effect of the moonbeam? Uh, 11 radiant damage, and, uh, and it stays there. All right. It howls under the searing light of this beam. Deg. Uh, is it an action to eat this apple? Uh, I'll give that to you as a bonus action. All right, I'm going to take a minute as my friends are fighting, and I'm looking at the moonbeam. I'm going to take a nice bite out of this apple. It's hey, a good time for a snack. Uh, that's a good apple. You feel like your next weapon attack is going to be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I take the apple, I put it in my boot, and as I'm doing that, I'm pulling out my hand axe. And I'm going to, to walk forward, and my arcane tablet isn't quite <laughs> responding, but uh, I want to walk forward a little bit, and I'm going to throw it right at this worm's let. Worms don't really have face, but where I'd imagine his face would be. <laughs> How close up are you walking? Uh, I don't want to be too close. A little bit, that's probably fine. All right, you throw your hand axe. That's a three plus seven. Please roll with advantage. Ah. As the effects of the fruit. That's a five plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> Does not connect, I'm afraid. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Your hand axe clinks off of its stony exterior. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, that's my turn. <laughs> All righty. Delia. All right, um, I am going to move up to, oh, I'm going to move up to next to Dag. Um, and I am going to... Stab him as well. Okay, it's okay, okay. but that wasn't great. Yeah, I mean... I mean, you're also, like, kind of dying, though, so if you could please be careful. Okay. Um, and you should, you should be a little brave, and I'm going to cast Heroism on Dead. Hey, I feel brave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the effect... That gives um, one Dag will be immune to being frightened, and he gains four temporary hit points at the start of each of his turns. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, four temporary hit points to Deg. I think you're pretty brave. <laughs> I no. think you're brave, too. <laughs> the, the sentiment is cute, but I'm not sure this is the time. There's never a wrong time. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. There are wrong times. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else, Delia? Um, no, that is my turn. All right, the worm is going to attack the illusory image with its tail, I immediately mean. dispelling it. And then it will move forward, and it will attempt to bite Deg. That's okay. Does it have reach? He does indeed. Uh, oh. That is a 25 to hit. That'll hit, yeah. That's 12 piercing damage to Deg. Oh. And Deg, I'm putting I need, out a brave face. I need a dexterity saving throw. That's a 19. Woo! All right. You feel its teeth boring into your flesh, but as you feel the muscles inside the mouth attempting to force you in, you push back. Does it feel my muscles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. Is it intimidated? You'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> All right. 
In that case, we'll move back to the top of initiative order to Jacono. Right. I'm going to, once again, uh, sneak back over to this area because I thought it was so nice before. Uh, and I'm going to send out my chill touch one more time, attempt to grab the tendrils right behind its eyes and pull it back for a freak show rodeo. <laughs> Make an attack roll. That is a six plus five, which does not hit. Does not hit. Does not hit. That is very unfortunate. Well, I've been wondering about this. Uh, I'm going to go to the bone store really quickly. Let's go ahead and get uh, PC uh, vulnerability. Uh, enemy gets vulnerab vulnerability to PC's physical attacks for one round. All right. For 300 boons. One round, but should be one combat. One combat? That's even better. I mean, that's, that's what I was told. That's crazy expensive will... for one round of all the It is crazy expensive for one round. If anyone else would like to chip in, I'd be much obliged, but uh, if not... Let's how much is it? Then. For it's the combat. 300. 300 boons. I can chip at least 50 for that, for sure. 50, right. Oh. Take 50 to mine as well. 50, right, 50. so that's 100. 50. 50, 150. All right, I'll, I'll pitch in 50. Right, and I'll cover the rest. All right, so Jacques, you know, the enemy now has vulnerability to your physical attacks. Just mine or everyone's? It is for the purchaser of the boon, oh. not for the party. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was You deal everybody. a lot of damage, though, so that's well, good. It's okay. <laughs> Should we assume that you or one of them purchased it then? Ooh, you keep it, you keep it. All right, okay, get You're okay. doing the best of us right now, so you can get up and As you all it. pitched in, you may decide who gets it, but it is for one champion. All right, that's good to know. Uh, I'll keep it for now, mates. That's right. You got it. Right, and uh, that Anything is where else I, on your turn? I will, uh, as a bonus action, I will cast my illusory double once more. <coughs> right here. And I will send him right up over here to draw fire. <laughs> All right, Tilly. Okay, I'm going to come forward between uh, between these two, and I'm going to ask, "How are you two doing?" Um, I was actually planning on healing him. Oh, excellent. Well, I have something for the both of you then. I'm going to touch the both of them and cast enhance ability, Ooh. giving them each a feather token and bear's endurance, or cockroach's endurance, as I say. Don't oh. eat it, no. Oh. Okay, well, you don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they gain advantage on constitution saving throws and 2d6 temporary hit points. Seven temporary hit points. That is important. Seven temporary hit points to the Vuvall and Deg. Yes, Very and nice. then I'm going to get the hex away from here. Good call. Hex. Vuvall. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be... Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but my moonbeam continues to stay right there and I could actually move it. Does it take an action to use it again? Moving the moonbeam requires an action on your turn. Uh, whenever the creature starts its turn in the moonbeam, it takes the damage. Okay, boo -ball. So we, we should determine the exact space that the moonbeam is on. I was, I was going for its dead center when, when I first shot it straight down It will on still it. be taking damage then. Ah, it's perfect. not moved enough. So I don't need to move it. So okay. it takes another 11 from your moonbeam? 11 moon radiant, yes. On its turn. <laughs> on its and that's not turn. my action. On, on its turn. Oh, on its. yeah, it doesn't require anything from him. Well, all right then. That's just me being casual. <laughs> and then I'm going to touch him and give you a level three uh, cure wounds. 18 hit points. 18 oh, hit God. points to the head. <laughs> you every one of them. Very good, very good. I like having you in the party. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sure Delia I'm feels the same way. Deg. It's nice to not heal people. All right. Uh, once again, guys, like, uh, now that I've been healed up a little bit, I got this little feather thing, uh, and I, I gained some temporary hit points from Delia, don't I? They don't stack, so the seven are going to override the four. Oh. Oh. Seven's still better than four, it, Deg. It is. But like, it is. And, as long, and as long as Delia split. keeps concentration, you'll get the four next turn. Okay, cool, okay. cool, 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 cool. Seven okay. is more than four. Uh, but I'm, I'm seven is more than four, and I know that because I can Deg. count that high. I, I, I'm feeling good though, and I feel my second win coming on, and so, I'm feeling spry. You're using your second wind ability, which gives you. 13 hit points. 13, 13 hit more points. hit points to dig. And with that, 
I'm going to take my shield and I'm going to slump it on my back and pull out my Sir Not Glaive and I'm going to charge at it. All right, you can strike it from where you stand. Oh, I'm going to stay right here then. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move. Will it get an opportunity to attack if I move to get 10 feet away from my allies? If you stay within its range, you will not. I want to move so I'm 10 feet away from all my allies. And then I'm going to, I'm going to hit it. Roll to attack. I, I sit down. I, I think of Sir Nox to the first one. That's a 10 plus 7. That does connect. <laughs> that would be 12 damage. 12 damage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again, and this one's for my grandpa. That's a 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7 will not connect. That's OK. I didn't know my grandpa that well. <laughs> I see him in vision sometimes, though. All that's, right. that's new. Yeah. Delia! I, I don't talk about it much. Okay, um, I am going to cast... Yeah, I am. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself at first level. Restoring? Restoring 13. 13 hit points now. Yeah! yeah. 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 Very supported. respectable indeed. <laughs> and um, just going to say, you're doing good, Deg! And mm -hmm. that is... I'm going to stay right where I am. <laughs> that's my turn. All right. <clears throat> Which brings us to the worm, who first takes 11 points of damage because it is still under a moonbeam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, mm -hmm. Hexmaster, sir. I would actually like to go to the Boon store and go purchase. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to the Boon store and purchase a first level spell slot. All a recovery right. spell slot. All right. For first 200. level spell slot for 200. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> The worm, on its turn, is going to move out of range of the moonbeam because it hurts. It's going to make its tail attack towards Deg. Don't come at me, bro. Which is caught. <laughs> Rolling a 12 to hit as it buries its tail in the stone next to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's then going to attempt its bite against Delia. Don't come at me, bro. That, however. I didn't say it early enough. Is a 28 to hit. Ooh. Yikes. That is 12 piercing damage. I need a dexterity saving throw. All right. No one's more dexterous than Delia. Are we sure of that? <laughs> that is a 14. 14? Flat, yeah, 14 plus straight flat 14. Flat 14. Don't you get advantage on... Uh, you get a bonus to saving throw. Oh, it's a saving throw? Yeah, she, she gets a plus four saving throw. I, I get a plus four because I have an amazing aura, so that's an 18. I mean, you withstand ooh, the other ooh, yet ooh. unknown effects of its bite attack. Okay. Well done! Okay. Thank you, Uncle Jack. You're the best. I got you. Jacono. I got you. I think it would be great if Delia, who's currently concentrating on Deg's heroism, uh. also made a constitution save. Oh, concentration. Uh, it's the law of play <laughs> It is indeed. Concentration a, with check. advantage. Not a save. Because I'm is doing this. This is a saving throw. This is a saving throw. A saving throw. Okay, okay. Just want to know. That is an 11 plus 4. She's good. She's good. good. 10, 15. So you're good. You're good. All right. Jacquino, please. Right. Focus. Well, I've had enough of this, not having a ton of luck with the uh, chill touch, unfortunately. But I'm going to pull out my rapier, and uh, as I'm feeling a bit empowered after the uh, friendly boon from the boon store, thank you, citizens of... I'm going to strut forward, strut my stuff, pull out my rapier, and uh, attempt a sneak attack as I have allies close enough. All right. Right. Attack roll, please. As I draw and stab at this beastie, that is an 11 plus 8 to hit. That nice connects. Thing. Right. <laughs> damage. That does 9 piercing damage plus 14 for that sweet, sweet sneak attack that I nice. like so much. And 25. That's great. Which, which should be doubled because of vulnerability, no? Yeah. Ooh. Is it doubled because of vulnerability? The I'll worm take that. writhes mightily under the strike Oof. of your rapier. And I just Ouch. I, find. I forgot about the vulnerability, Ouch. so I just think he's that strong. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then I'm going to give it a little bow and disengage and back right up. This way. All right, Tilly. 
All right, I'm going to come forward just a little bit, just over here, and then I'm going to have a quick snack of my butterfly eggs and open up my jacket, and butterflies will come swarming out of it because I'm a fan of irony. They'll come swarming <laughs> towards the giant bug, but of course they see it's, it's another bug, so they don't want to eat it. They just, they just give it little kisses as they crawl around, and it tickles quite a bit. I need a constitution <laughs> saving throw. I can't tell if she's using a euphemism or not. <laughs> constitution saving throw. Do you yes. see? Uh, 16. You from what? That is an 11. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> he takes seven psychic damage, and he must move five feet away from me. Five feet Ooh. away from you. As he does that, oh, can Delia get an opportunity attack? She may not, as it is forced movement. Mm. I that wish. a thing man. that we have learned. He moved that way and not the other way. I mean, you can't really control it. He just has to move on. I don't you. like him. <laughs> <laughs> he may not be bright. He's not as dumb as that. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, one second. I move 5, 10, 15, 20. I'll move back over here. Your seven damage is really good. Vubal. <laughs> so, am I in the range of his attack? Okay. You yeah. are indeed. Okay. So then, I don't want to get that opportunity. So I'm going to just come right here. That way I can help my friend if needed. And, uh, you know, I didn't even realize until now I've got a shield. It's been on me back. <laughs> so I'm going to pull my shield out. Uh, I imagine that's just a, a bonus action as well. Just Indeed. Rip. Important thing to remember. And then uh, as I'm hiding behind my nice little wooden shield, I'm going to move uh, my moonbeam. I believe that's that red square right above his head. It sure is. I can move it for you. Let's just move it straight down right into the dead center. All yeah. right. Yeah. I love the smell of cooked worm in the morning. Me too, actually. Actually, me too. Yeah, I'm... we should all have one. <laughs> high in protein, that's high in fiber. Morning. That's important. Oh, exactly. <laughs> It'll go really well with the butterfly eggs. All right. Just a bit of lunacy. Crello or Sir Knox, does he take the damage right now or at the beginning of his turn? At the beginning of the worm's turn. Thank you very much. All right. Interesting. Move all anything else? Oh, that's it. Deg. So I don't really see much of a way I can uh, get 10 feet away from all my allies. So I'm just going to move a little bit closer to Delia so I get her plus one to my attacks. All righty. Cool. And I'm, uh, I'm going to pull back. I still have my glaive out. And I'm gonna, my goal right here is I want to chop it in half, you know? Uh, so I'm going like, to go from underneath it. I don't think he'll see that coming. <laughs> I'm smarter than a worm. <laughs> Attack roll, please. All right. That's a 20. Oh! Oh! That'll be 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. Well done, Deg. Did I dig all the way through it? You dig deep into this worm well, we're as gonna it wriggles keep and going. writhes. Hey. Second attack? Make worms meet of them. Ah. <laughs> That's a four. I was laughing too hard at the joke. It was a good joke, though. <laughs> That's not going to connect to Deg. I'm sorry. All right. Anything else? No. Delia. Well, I'm extremely impressed with what Dead just did, unless he's going to do something else. As a bonus action, can I pull my shield back out? You may. I will do that then. Delia. Great plan. I'm going to move up next to this worm and be like, yo, I don't like that you just hurt my, um, deg. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to hit you for that. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I really just want to thrust and just stab right inside of this thing. Swing away. That is a seven plus seven plus one. Does not connect. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. So I, I'm just a little, just a little bit distracted by um, what I was just thinking about, about what deck is. And I'm going to just attack it again I'm with my backhand. I'm a human fighter. <laughs> that is a natural one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How much damage does your attack do, Delia? That would be 10. Deg, 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 deg. <sighs> She's looking at you a little too longingly as she swings. <laughs> and as we all know, you aim where you're looking. So that's 10 points to Deg. Where did she hit me? Love hurts, ladies and gentlemen. Right on your shoulder. Ah, I'm so sorry. I have two, I... don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, at the beginning of the worm's turn, he takes 11 from the moonbeam. Nice. All righty. 
join it now. Oh, <laughs> he then, in his fit of rage, remembering who has pained him most and attempting to escape the moonbeam, is going to move closer to Jacquino. Oh. Textmaster, uh, the purple worm actually will get a constitution save each time against the moonbeam. Oh. Oh. To, to prevent the... Or it will take oh. half on a failed save. It's good to know. Uh, DC? Good stand up for a monster 16. This time. All right, he takes it. Ah. Good to know. Good to know. A attack of opportunity, perhaps? I believe so. <laughs> Let's that's redeem what just that's, happened. That's um, all of us? I think that's all three. Does Ooh. your double get attacked these? No, he doesn't get, uh. but um, being how large the creature is, would, uh, would Boo Ball get one as well? No, that is dependent on Boo Ball's range, not the creature's. Uh, okay. So, two. Deli and Deg. All right, Deg, you go first. Deg. Good try. That's a three plus seven plus one. That is way whiff. Grello. Dick specified that he got out his shield at the end of his turn. He does not have two hands to use the glaive he is holding. I have my dagger. <laughs> he can't switch weapons outside his turn. As well as switching the shield. Suck it, Dick. Oh. You can I'm still. Back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> can okay, he but still... like, except for the possibility of like, uh, what, what is this called? Opportunity attacks. That's a really brilliant strategy. Just Bringing out the shield every other turn? That may Good be point. the nicest thing Sarnak has said about Dig. <laughs> I, I was impressed. <laughs> Bringing the shield out. Yeah. Thank you. Delia, your attack of opportunity, please. All right. That is an 18 plus 7 plus 1. That connects. <laughs> That's the gun. Damage. Eat that little worm. That is a 10 damage. 10 damage <laughs> to the worm. All right. Feeling a little better. The worm attempts its bite attack first against Jacano. By all means. That is an 18 to hit. I'm feeling a little tricky today. So unfortunately for him, he's going to have to attack with disadvantage. Oh, Ooh. very well. Is that the mouthy or ability or yeah, something else? That is cool. the mouthy or ability. Right. That's a 13 to hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, friend. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Mouthy or clan ability spent, but. Well worth it. You're gonna die hungry, I'm afraid. He's going to use his tail attack. Oh, yes, but we right. won't. <laughs> that is also an 18 to hit. That does hit, but I'm going to dodge uncannily. <laughs> All right, well, that's four piercing damage because of the uncanny dodge. However, I do need a constitution saving throw. Constitution, eh? That is a 12 plus 2 for a 14. 14. I'm afraid you take 20 points of poison <gasps> damage. Oh. oh! I don't feel so hot anymore, friends. <laughs> oh. All righty. Uh, that is the worm's turn. You're not lying. Which brings us back to Jacques and Well, I can't get my sneak attack, unfortunately, but I can still attack him, and he's still going to feel every bit of that sweet, sweet rapier, so I'm going to attempt to stab him. With vulnerability. With vulnerability. Yes. As I pull back and stab, that is an 11 plus 8. That oh, connects. Nice. nice. Right. 18 piercing damage. You're good. You're good to go, man, but can we just have you move into melee with that worm? Oh, right. Step right, right up. He doesn't. No, it doesn't. Doesn't count, count, doesn't count as an ally. Nice thinking. Though. That I would appreciate be you getting my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you land your attack for eighteen piercing damage. Eighteen piercing damage. All right, right. I was correct. Anything else on your turn? Seasons. Keep it up. Uh, I'm going to disengage and come right up here. All right, Tilly. All right, I'm going to step forward just a little bit, and then I'm going to raise out a hand, and I'm going to withdraw my little bell and give it a little ring. And when I do, hands are going to come from the ceiling and from the holes and they're going to reach out. They're ghostly, they're skeletal. Some of them are wearing cute little butterfly rings. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to claw out at the worm from all sides. That would be, that would be an 11 plus eight, uh, a 19 to hit. That connects. Excellent. Yeah. Now, well done. I'm also going to use uh, meta magic, twist fate and time. The air grows tense once more, and Jackano will not have to make the saving throw for this. So I, he will take. I believe he's far enough away that you don't need to do that. Uh, his illusory double is there, so oh. if you want to spare the illusory double, go for it. I, mean, I love the illusory double, but I, I think yes. That's okay. Okay, never mind. I he's won't do that. He's had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to take five necrotic damage, and he must make a wisdom saving throw. Thank you. 
that is a modified one. <laughs> Not very wise, this one. Excellent, that's seven psychic damage. Seven more psychic damage. All right, well done. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no. Booball. Okay, well, this this moonbeam has not been uh, letting me down, so we're just gonna keep moving it right on over. Good, cool. Let's moving it to the center burn. of the worm once right again. Right into the center. And then I just hunker down with my shield. I don't I don't want to move away from him. All right. That takes us to Deg. So is uh is Jack you know, He's hidden. The, the worm doesn't know where he's at. I mean, I didn't take the hide action, but uh, I'm away from it. You okay. cannot even see Jacquino for the gigantic worm that lay between the two of you. <laughs> I am going to slump my shield back over my shoulder, pull out my my Sirnok glaive, and I'm going to dash right at him and uh, chop right into him, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try to aim back to where I was chopping last time and try to finish the job. All right, roll an attack. That's a seven plus seven plus one if I'm close enough, Delia. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't hit it with this roll though. I know. Okay, it's, good. Uh, Fair enough. Right. Seven plus seven plus one from That's Delia not do does it. not connect. Oh. We'll try again. Come on, come on. That's a 10 plus seven plus one. That connects. <laughs> That'll be nine damage. Nine damage? Yes, sir. Nine damage. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Delia. All right, I'm gonna run up right next to this thing, and I'm gonna hit it and try and stab right where Deg was stabbing and finish it. Make an attack roll. Don't come at me, bro. That's a 10 plus seven plus one. Yes. That will connect. <laughs> Done. Damage. 10 damage. 10 damage. And then of course I got a backhand. Let's hit this again. All again, righty. please don't come at me, bro. <laughs> It's an eight plus seven plus one. Eight plus seven plus one. Sixteen. Barely connects. For ten damage. Ten damage right to his abdomen. All right. (laughs) Very long, slender abdomen. This worm is looking quite rough. It turns and will attempt to bite Delia. Don't come at me, bro. That is an 18 to hit, Dang it. which just connects. You're rolling connects. too fast for me, Hexmaster. I gotta get my catchphrase in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's 12 piercing damage to Delia, and I need a dexterity uh, saving throw. Uh, excuse me, is this also uh, its turn? <gasps> so, a little moonbeam damage, if you please. Just a little moonbeam. Thank you for the reminder. It's looking <laughs> really rough. Ooh. That's right. DC. 16. Fails. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Takes the full amount. Thanks for that. Delia, I need that dexterity saving throw All from right. you now. Again, please don't come at me, bro. That's a 17 <sighs> flat. All right. You withstand <laughs> against Delia. Don't come at me, bro. <laughs> that is a 15 to hit. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Does nice not try. hit. I'm just like, I've seen Jack and I like dodge a lot. So I'm just kind of copying what he does. It Jacquino. helps to not have a spine. <laughs> Jacquino's turn. Right. Is that real? Hexmaster, the dice have been unlocked. The champions will now do the full dice value on their attacks, <gasps> as will the purple worm. Oh. So, just so I'm clear, I'm to understand that on Jacquino's turn, he will be he dealing double <laughs> damage with vulnerability. All right. I like the sound of this. I am going to saunter my way out one more time, give a little crick of the neck, pull out me rapier, and I'm going to attempt to shish kebab this worm once and for all with a sneak attack because I have allies nearby. And you certainly do. That is a 14 plus 8 to hit. That, <laughs> that does connect. Right. Uh, so that does nine piercing times two. Uh, excuse me. So that Don't is. Don't forget your sneak attack, Jacques. No. Sneak attack, mm-hmm. right? So I get maximum damage on my on my regular attack plus sneak attack. So that is what at this point full. Oh, we're having tw- tw- All right. Twenty-four for the sneak attack. I just like hearing you say. Eight usual. for the rapier. Five for the dexterity modifier. I can never really do math. I can't count. Uh, so that's, that's thir- <laughs> thirteen plus twenty-four, which is thir- thirty-seven, doubled. Oh my! Is it dead? (laughs) 
It's looking bloodied. Tilly, on your turn. No, Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> May I describe this, please? Please, I got a please idea. do. Right, we all knew so. it was coming. <laughs> do a somersault. As I am uh, sauntering up, I take a little detour, jump off the rocks. Uh, I'm going to climb my way up, jump down its mouth, and uh, cut its head off from the inside, and then stand on its body as it falls to the ground, and then give everyone a bow with the slime from the wall. <laughs> Jackano before, but now I'm super impressed. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to use prestidigitation to clean him up a little bit. I've got worm guts on me and You such. smell? Yes. Oh. Very well done, it's true. I mean, the smell's always been there, but... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Barkeep, how are the keys? Not wrong. By my estimation, we really need to get these guys home. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, please, call our champions home. I'm oh. pocketing Closing the channel. I'm putting it in my... <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of guts. I got all as many guts oh. as I could get. We're going to make a great stew. Excellent. But they're in much better shape than last time. Oh. That's good. Uh, <coughs> we'll eat the stew. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our champions have worked very hard. It's time that they got some rest. So, give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> Please, champions, retire to your rooms. I don't know if our dear Tilly has been in contact with Onin, our dearly departed friend from Creek, but uh, his blessing has been left with Jacques and I. Yes. And I wanted to say that I appreciate it, and I hope that you rest in glory, my friend. Much obliged. And a fond farewell for our Hexmaster as well. <laughs> Citizens of Throsha, aren't you so proud of them? Yeah! They're so cool! I was thoroughly impressed. But you saw how powerful the boons can really be. So really, thank you. Thank you for your presence, for your faith, for enjoying this time with us. And please, we need you to join us as once again we enter the, the Hex! Hex.